absolutely earth-shattering news about Halo Infinite being delayed until 2021 and what 343 stated about it. Stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again, giving you another news and informational video when it comes to Halo. I know this video came out of nowhere, so did this information that Halo Infinite is getting delayed until 2021. Now, initial reaction for me is, yeah, this really stinks. I really wanted to play Halo Infinite this fall. I was really looking forward to it. I've been building up this channel for years for this moment. And then it sounds like it's just being delayed till next year. We don't have an exact date. Though I do applaud 343 for taking the brave step to delaying the game to make sure it gets released in a proper state. And here's what 343 said on Twitter. Today, I want to share an important Halo Infinite development update with the community. We have made a difficult decision to shift our release to 2021 to ensure the team has adequate time to deliver a Halo game experience that meets our vision. The decision to shift our release is the result of multiple factors that have contributed to the development challenges, including the ongoing COVID-related impacts affecting us all this year. I want to acknowledge the hard work from our team at 343 Industries who have remained committed to making a great game and finding solutions to development challenges. However, it's not sustainable for the well-being of our team or the overall success of the game to ship it this holiday. We know this will be disappointing to many of you and we all share that sentiment. The passion and support the community has shown over the years has been incredible and inspiring. We want nothing more than to play our game with the community this holiday. The extra time will let us finish critical work necessary to deliver the most ambitious Halo game ever at the quality we know our fans expect. Thank you for your support and understanding. Chris Lee, studio head of Halo Infinite. Absolutely massive, all in the Halo world, earth shattering level news. Like, I think we all kind of saw this coming to be honest with the, given the unprecedented situations we are in right now. I know Microsoft has a policy of everyone working from home until at least October. That might get stretched out. We'll see how it is here in Washington. I mean, I've been working from home since March. Though I do think it's a very brave and honorable step that 343 is taking to make sure that when 343 releases their game of Halo Infinite, it's gonna be the game we all want it to be. We did did see plenty of graphical issues when it comes to that gameplay demo and I'm sure they saw that and their feedback from the community they're like yeah I don't know if we're going to, be able to fix all that in time especially for how large of a game Halo Infinite is planned to be with a nearly op essentially open world like kind of campaign experience free to play multiplayer with all the essential modes that we all have in there i'm sure they have some probably new mode that they've never had in halo that they're going to be releasing in here and as well they have forge they got theater they have other community features and just like this game is such a massive project there's so many things that go into making a great halo game that all need to be there at launch that i can understand how moving from the office to home because of covid can definitely have that issue we saw this happen with with one with Cyberpunk and another one with The Last of Us had some delays as well due to COVID-19. And I'm sure 343 was already crunching in as much as they could before launch for this holiday. So adding that on top of this, I can understand why they need to delay. Now, I'm sure the question you're all asking is, okay, when in 2021 are we gonna be seeing this game? We don't know. That's, this is all the information we have right now at the moment. I checked throughout their Twitter. I checked on Halo Waypoint. This is all we have right now when it comes to Halo Infinite news. I'm sure this is a developing story at the moment as there's a lot of things tied to the release of Halo Infinite that uh, they just can't d themselves decide when this game is gonna be released. And so right now I'm assuming Cross my fingers for like a like a March 2021 release. Of course, then it's uh, up to for debate really what's going to happen with this. You know, the whole pandemic situation has really threw a wrench in the whole system. Again, I'm saddened that yes, we have to wait until 2021 for this game to release. Though it does make my holiday season a little bit easier on my family for sure, and also uh, helps making sure that this game, when it releases, is the game that we want. I'm okay with waiting a few extra months to make sure that the game that we get on release is something that's a positive impact on the community. That was a big issue with Halo 5 that the game released with a lot of missing content that we come to expect when it comes to a Halo game, split screen, social modes, uh, things like infection, forge, big team battle, just not in the game at release. 
we can't do that with Halo Infinite. This game needs to release properly to one, do right for the community and two, make a big statement that Halo is back. Halo can't just limp into this season with a release of a game like they can with like a Call of Duty or like any other kind of seasonal game because, you know, we're kind of in an underdog situation. We need to build the community back up. So we need to come back in with a big punch saying Halo's back, baby. You're going to want to jump in and play this and you can't have it with an un unfinished product. It's just as simple as that. Uh, like again, I'm glad 343 is doing this. Uh, it saddens me that we have to wait, but it's good to see that they're willing to t put the time in with this game to make sure it's the game that we want at release. So what are your thoughts on the delay, guys? I'm sure we all have our own opinions. Leave in the comments section down below. I do re read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well. If you're new to the channel or miss any content from me and you want to be out of the loop for the last few days or so, check out the news videos on the screen right here. To catch yourself up to date right there. Thank you so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.